Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to be showing you the best settings for Optifine to get the best FPS or frames per second out of your Minecraft world. Right now, this is just regular Minecraft, nothing fancy here. Let's just bring up our screen, upper left hand corner. You can see right there, it says 32 FPS, and 30 frames is not bad. It depends on what you're doing. Here I'm back at the launcher, and let's just change this to Optifine right there, and we'll play this. And let's go down to Options right here, and Video Settings. First, I'm going to bring in a real heavy shader pack right there. Here's an extreme shader pack. This is going to look great, but we'll see what it does to the FPS. And click on Done, and Done, and Done, and let's get back into the game. And there we go. Much nicer look, as you can see. Let's now check out the FPS. I'll bring up the F3 button right here, and it's way down to 18. So using a shader really impacts your FPS. But if you want to have the look, this is the best way to get that look. Okay, let's now turn off the shaders and see what we can do to speed things up and up to find back out of here again. Go back over to options and video settings and come down to shaders and I'll set this off right there and click on done and done and done. Back to game. There you go. Shaders off. Let's check our FPS and back at the 55, right? 63 looking pretty good. So pretty fast in there. All right, let's go back out to Optifine and take a look at our settings in here. So video settings. And let's go through these and see so we have graphics. You can go faster on this by clicking this down to fast. On smooth lighting, you can go off on that one. That's going to speed things up a little bit. These are okay to leave as is. Dynamic lights, you can leave that on or off. It's up to you. I'm going to go to fast. I haven't found that much of a difference here. Leave shaders off. That's pretty important. On details, you can turn things off here to slow them out either leave your clouds in or go to fast on your clouds fast on trees you can even turn the clouds off if you want to but i'll leave it at fast sky and moon those don't have that much of an effect a lot of these things are kind of yes kind of know if it really matters or not capes doesn't matter stars can matter you can cancel your computer down a little bit but it looks nice having your stars on there so some of these things i'm just going to leave them on here anyway like on the rain and snow if i turn the rain and snow off you're still going to hear the rain, even though you don't see it, so that's kind of silly. So some of these things, we're just going to leave those on no matter what. Okay, click on Done for that. And then Animations. You need to have animations in the game, so we'll just leave all these on. One thing you can do is come down here at the bottom, right there it says Particles. You can click on that and make it say Minimal, and that will give you the least number of particles. Speed your game up just a little bit. Okay, over here, you can turn off your Entity Shadows if you want to. I don't really see that big of a deal on that. Let's leave that on. Same thing, if we leave that on, that's just fine. Now, on quality in here, some of these things, depending upon what it is, can slow it down. It depends upon your resource pack. These are mostly resource pack related. So, for instance, if somebody has random entities in there, or if they have custom items or custom GUIs, those can maybe slow things down a little bit. So, it's up to you. Custom sky, you know, that could be real fancy clouds in there. Again, it's up to you if you want to have this on or off. I'll click our connected textures off. That just kind of smooths where blocks touch each other. Again, not that big of a deal. I'll turn custom sky off on this and custom models off. Some of these things will restart your screen, as you can see right there. And I'll turn off random entities and custom colors and items in the GUI. Here we go. Okay, everything else I'll leave alone in here. And then on performance... Render regions off, smart animations off, smooth FPS off, fast render, let's turn that one on, and fast math, turn that one on. And then on the smooth world, having it on can just smooth things out just a little bit. And dynamic updates, I'll leave that at off. Okay, that should be pretty good. And click on done, and done. Back to game. Let's check our FPS on that. Notice that we have our shaders off up there, upper left-hand corner. I'll put it right there on that tree. There's 67, 77, 78, 79. It's a lot faster now, and I've made a few of those adjustments. Here's 80 right there. So I can live with 60, but this really speeds things up by just changing just a few of those settings. And it still looks just fine. I don't have fancy clouds. That's okay. I don't need fancy clouds. Everything else looks real nice. I don't really see any problems in here. Everything else works the same. So you can see it can really increase the FPS, get your game going a lot faster and smoother, just by doing a few tweaks here with Optifine. Okay, if you like the video, hit that like button. And I'll see you next time.